Hey guys, have you ever wondered if your daughter's bat is too small or have you ever wondered how to measure your daughter for the right size bat? Let me show you. I get asked a lot about bats and what size bat should someone get for their daughter and what is the correct way to measure. And there's a bunch of different ways that people talk about it. You know, put it up and see where it goes up against your leg. And is it long enough for your arm to your chest? And there's a bunch of other measurement styles to gauge whether or not your daughter's bat is the right length. The one that works best for me and for my girls is taking a look at the size of the bat based on the swing in comparison with the plate. So for this, you will need a home plate. Uh, you can get one of the throwdown home plates from any of the large retailers, Target, Walmart. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, uh, anywhere uh, they sell sporting goods. They will have a plastic throwdown plate. So what we're going to start with is I want your daughter to get comfortable in the box or in where she would stand next to the plate. I'm right-handed, but if she's left-handed, she'll be on the other side of the plate. So she's gonna square up her feet to the plate like she would in a game. And then I want her to hold the bat out and try to touch the corner of the plate comfortably so that she knows where to set her feet. And she's gonna go straight up from there. We're gonna get in our stance, ready to swing. And I want us to go ahead and swing to the point of contact. And then we're going to stop. And I want us to just place the bat down on the ground. If that bat does not extend the entire length of the plate, this bat is too short. So we'll take a look at it again with another size bat. This bat is four inches longer. So now we're going to take a look at the same drill with a bat that's four inches longer. I'm gonna get set in the box, my feet comfortably set where I would hit when the pitcher's pitching. I'm gonna put my hands on the bat and I'm gonna come up into my batting stance. I'm gonna start my swing and I'm gonna to get to the point of contact and I'm gonna stop. And then I'm gonna put the bat down on the ground. And I'm gonna take a look at the bat in comparison with the plate. This bat again is too short. Now my last example is with my own personal bat. This is the bat I use to play softball. And we're gonna do the same drill, get our feet set. I'm gonna set up my bat on the outside part of the plate. I'm gonna come up into my batting stance. I'm gonna get ready to swing. I'm gonna get to the point of contact and I'm gonna put the bat down on the ground. And if we notice, this bat extends to the outer part of the plate and hangs over a little bit. So this is how I know that my bat is the right length for me and my swing. Now, depending on a batter's swing and their mechanics of their swing, that may determine a different bat size. So if little Susie is the same size as little Jane, it doesn't always mean that they need the same size bat. So it's really important to take a look at the bat size based on the swing in comparison with home plate. Thanks guys.